keeping my lithium ion batteries charging even in sub-zero temperatures. Over the last week, we have had some of the coldest temperatures I remember in any winter over the last decade or so. We've had single digit days followed by multiple negative temperatures, sub-zero, and my battery bank has kept going strong. So here's some more information. The battery bank keeps this dome, which we call the Da Vinci Octo Dome. It's located in West Virginia at wvglampingdomes.com. It's been a huge hit with our guests. The battery bank has been doing awesome. We have a microwave, a mini fridge and freezer, a Keurig, an induction cooktop, an air conditioning, and a few other things like the water heater for the hot tub in addition to the wood-fired hot tub heater. And then uh, there's a, a pump that circulates the water in the hot tub. And um, our guests absolutely love it. It's extremely private. And that's the only way we could have got power out here and had it make uh, sense math-wise is setting up our own solar array. So we are super happy with how these batteries are working. After a week of single digit and sub-zero temperatures, I have some actual data to share with you about how my lithium battery bank does in a deck storage box with minimal insulation outdoors and how they charge. Long story short, I wanted to put my batteries external to the structure, A, so it wouldn't take up space, B, so I would have no risk of fire caused by some kind of a failure with the batteries although that is very rare, admittedly. But I wasn't sure how I was gonna perform in winter, and we have had the coldest winter I remember in a long time over this past week. So here's some actual data showing you day by day the low temperature of the batteries, and I will mate that with the low of the day. I'm happy to report that the Victron, Victron battery sense has been detecting the temperature. I put it in there as a fail safe, A, so I would be able to have the data, and B, so it would prevent the batteries from charging if they were too cold. Long story short, they haven't got too cold. I have a warming device in there. I'll put a link to that in the comments in the description, and it has done the job. It only uses 100 watts, and it is keeping them toasty even in sub-zero temps. So I hope this information is helpful. If you like this video, do that thumb thing with a like button and don't forget to subscribe because I post stuff like this randomly and frequently. Cheers.